Alright, there we go. Lucian ban. Hovering Jan- uh, Looks like it's gonna be a first pick Janna Pretty safe pick, good disengage, always good disengage Pretty good poke That shield just gets crazy Braum, Kha'Zix, Kha'Zix obviously gonna be a very strong jungler uh, Able to 1v1, basically any jungler Braum Really tanky, offers a lot of tanky stats. Amazing old. Mm. See. Still just hovering, but looks like they will be locking in Kha'Zix and Braum. Magma helping hovered, which Kagma does make sense. I mean, they did ban out Thresh, Lucian, Lee Sin, which are all extremely strong against Kagma. I mean, Thresh hook just decimates. Oh, it looks like it's gonna be a Remus ban. Remus obviously getting more popular recently. With I forget, it's like 60 or 65 percent win rate in child in Diamond tier. So pretty strong solo queue, but. We'll see how it translates into fives. And looks like, yeah, Kogma is going to be locked in. Did not want to face that Thresh. However, Braum still will be decently well against him. Jaina going to be pretty good at disengaging, protecting the Kogma. Jesse hating on the... Hating on the X-Split. Bane, alright. Irelia. So right now, from what it looks like, blue team, they're gonna be a lot more like team fight focused. They they're gonna really want control team fights, gonna be protecting Kogma, uh Jenna ulting everyone away, disrupting the purple team, whereas purple team they have a really pick centered comp. Braum amazing catching up people, Kha'Zix able to burst down people, Vayne and Aurelia also really great single target burst. So their team fights, they're probably going to want everything to be a bit more chaotic. Looks like Xerath being picked for the blue team. Hmm. And the Nar. 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 Or Rise. Or Swain. Oh, Lulu. Rock a bye bye, just taking his time. Not giving a shit about the world. <sighs> Lulu would fit pretty well here. I, I mean, really great at saving. Yeah, Lulu, that's gonna be a pretty solid pick. I mean, double shield, protecting Kogma, protecting Zerith. Um, just, yeah, just. Save the hyper carries. Blue team is uh, Westview is gonna need really good vision coverage in this game. I mean, purple team they're gonna be looking for a lot of picks. Blue team is gonna excel in the team fights, but that won't really matter if purple team gets way ahead from all their picks or if uh, Kogmar Zerth gets picked out strolling through the, jung the jungle. And Twisted Fate definitely can be able to capitalize even more on the pick comp. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna lock him in, so he's gonna be able to ult everywhere, anywhere, punish anybody for being caught out of position. Hmm. 
So uh, it's a bit of the flank comp where basically you have your hyper carry. Usually it's like you'd have like an Oriana mid or something who's also pretty utility, but having another uh, pretty good carry works as well. So you have your hyper carry, AD carry, and then you'll be really focused on protecting them in your team fights. You want everything to be really controlled. Have your entire team just protecting your carries. You want vision all around so that to make sure that you don't get flanked. And purple team, uh, it's gonna be a really fun team to play. Pretty chaotic. Lots of definitely gonna be a lot of kills going on there. I mean, Vayne, Irelia, Brom, Kha'Zix, Twisted Fate, they can be looking for picks all day long. And three, two, one. Is there the three minutes spectating delay? Yep. So I guess just chill out for three minutes. Uh, 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 I think... Purple team could actually probably go for level 1 invade. I mean, Kha'Zix pretty good early damage. Not quite sure how it really does. Braum gonna be really strong, applying slows and stuns to everyone. Twisted Fade obviously got his own stun. Oh, yeah. On the other hand, Lulu depends on whether or not she goes top. Zareth, if you can force him to start stun, that would help. Ramis, not exactly the best damage output. Kog'Maw not going to be that strong until level 6. So, we might see some kind of level 1 cheese or invade coming in from purple team. We shall see. They're really going ignite over teleport, so going for a bit more kill pressure. Definitely fitting the team comp pretty well. Wanting that extra kill pressure, that extra chance to snowball, pick people off and punish them. And Twisted... Fade going ghost, so we'll help him get in position for his ults or picks or even just lane safety. I guess I go back to playing Silver Scrapes because that's what Riot does whenever they have awkwardly long amounts of time to kill. <laughs> Actually, me and my friend, we actually were like, oh my god, we just gotta like, play this song on non-stop repeat for an entire game. And we actually won that game pretty hard, but it gets pretty annoying after a while. Uh, let's see, Twisted Fate versus Zerith. I mean, both people can farm pretty safely. Zerith obviously having a really long range with his spells. Twisted Fate, he's got his Q to farm with if he wants to be play really far back, so doubt there's gonna be a good chance for the junglers to gank mid. Uh, top lane, Lulu's kind of mobile, Irelia. People are it, she wasn't that popular like a couple months ago, I think, but people are starting to pick her up after seeing Wicked play Irelia, and they're starting to learn her pretty well, so top lane, gonna go. I mean, Top lane is looking pretty gankable. Bot lane definitely with Kogma, Janna, uh, no mobility. On the other hand, Bane Bomb, I guess they'll do pretty well at um, being able to avoid ganks, depending. I mean, if Remus just powerballs in, they're really fast. There's not much they can do. And here we go. Out of the three minute wait time and into the loading screen. Fun shit. Give me a second to just adjust my... Why is this still... What? Oh god. Make it go away. Why is it not? Fuck. Alright, there you go. Oh, I need to get, get better casting software, but oh well. Oh well. And here we go. Into the game. Buy's coming out. Everybody. 
and the immediate HSL pause, make sure everybody connects on time. Or, yeah, bug splat, fun stuff. GLHF can't even hear me, that face. Very well for those of you who don't speak Chinese. Do 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 buha, which is not well. Let's see, Thorns ring, double health pots, pretty normal. Gana going three health pots and one blue pot, so not gonna opt for that ward. I mean, it's a pretty greedy play, but. Uh, if you're not a pro, it's hard to get punished for that. Um, three health pots instead of a two and two pot split. That works pretty well. Jen is pretty mana hungry, but um, definitely gonna be needing that sustain. Flash start from Irelia. Just gonna try to farm up. Pain's coming out. Pretty. Well, yeah, it really is going boss, so it looks like there definitely will be some level 1 shenanigans by these people. Um, Westview setting up defensive positions. Gonna be trying to spy out. This is actually a pretty dangerous spot to stand. I mean, he's in the bush, so it's okay, but he should be standing over here. There's actually a video posted on Reddit today. Uh, looks like they're positioning, coming around the corner. Oh my god, it's not- Oh my god, and Braum misses a Q. Instant flash by Pocky Boy. Wow, if Braum did not miss a Q, that would have been pretty bad. I mean, he would have been slow, would have had a hard chance getting away. And... However, just trading a flash for a flash freeze is definitely going to be more beneficial for... I mean, trading the mid lane's flash for a support flash definitely will be making the bot lane a bit more gankable, vulnerable to kill kills, but... That mid lane, Twisted Fate is going to be having him playing pretty safe, hoping that he doesn't get ganked up. Mm. Everyone just dispersing Irelia, headed back to top lane. Uh, they will... Uh, Purple Team will be able to see... Uh, I don't know their team, their team name, but... Purple Team will be saying, seeing that Remus is starting red buff. Whereas... Westview is just going to have to assume that... Purple Team Kha'Zix is starting blue buff. They don't have any vision to know for sure, but seeing as the entire team was down bot, it is surmisable. General Leash, walking to river, kinda greedy, but it's whatever. It's rare that you get punished for that, so... I mean like, in a match that you actually care about, you probably play too, but... Oh well. Targon's Brace, Jenna. Lane kind of fall back, having not having flash. Definitely should be going for that poke. I mean, trying to get the eight gold from auto attacking. Zareth doing pretty well poking. Auto attacking, getting his mana re uh, mana regen. Yeah, it's pretty hard to out tra trade Jenna when she has her shield up, especially if you're melee. So Jenna should be looking for more, more. Um, Chance to auto attack. Looks like the team is going to get level 2 first. Not able to hugely capitalize on it. Braum doesn't really have a huge level 2 power spike. Uh, Misses his Q again. Pokeball gets condemned in. Tornado comes out. Shield trading pretty well. Overall, that trade went pretty even. Got some good damage on both sides. However, Braum is going to have. Braum and Vayne are going to have that sustain coming from the Relic Shield. So that will go a bit in their favor if he's um, this goes longer. Organism and Pocket are obviously going to want to be trading when the shield is up. As they don't really have any form of sustain other than their pot. So it's going to be needed to use that shield to bully and prevent damage. Cosmic has Grace, Ramus has Wolves. Both of them hovering near mid lane. Zareth does have 
have this played, which will be up for another 30 seconds. So that will protect him. How so it looks like Kha'Zix just gonna walk on by. Kha'Zma looks like he's gonna get stumped up. This is gonna be pretty dangerous. Might need a heal to come out. Pretty good heal in the answer to that condemn. Yeah, it's def you definitely need to be careful playing this bomb, staying too near to one of the enemy minions. Otherwise, this bomb can't just uh, stand behind me to that minion. Looks like Capacity chilling on the top lane, looking for an opportunity to gain just Irelia. Irelia, if he, if he jumps on the Lulu, Grimms definitely is going to be going in. But he is spending a lot of time not getting anything, not getting any damage. Looks like she's jumping in, might just going aggressive. Rem is powerballing in. And the force is out to flash. A lot of time investing out of flash. For um Twisty Fate hovering over that gold card. Seeing Kazus come in, Fairy Blows is forced to flash. However, he is able to poke from really long range. Rem is coming in. Power balls, taunt him, Lulu just gonna be putting down some good damage. However, she is out, man, not gonna be able to do much more. Organism Pocket Boy. Or Pocket Boy is back at full health, last bomb and Fain are at half health each. Looks like Twist Fate was for south lane, so Zerx is gonna be looking to push that lane in before backing. Has a decent amount of CS, 35 to and looks like Rem is really wants it, going in. It's gonna be walked straight into Kha'Zix, that is not gonna turn well for him. This might be first blood. Looks like his flash is for south. Kha'Zix is gonna leave. Red buff doesn't block, but the voice spikes do land, and that is first blood going over to Kha'Zix. Having a snowball, get some damage on the Rockabye by, but nothing gonna come of that, really. Rockabye by, it is pushing the, uh, into him, so he might be able to just stay. Organism, Pocket Boy, farming up. Kha'Zix does has 41 CS to Vayne's 40, so pretty even on both sides. Top lane, Lulu 30 to Irelia 22. You can see she was spinning her Q's a lot to try to deny Irelia CS. First back coming from Kha'Zix. Looks like... He twist the Fate Roam. Didn't stun up Organism. He is going to go down. Kha'Zma trying to get some damage. Not getting anything from that. Perhaps if Jin had stayed for a W or E auto attack on your vein, that something could have came from that, but not one you risk it. Not that good at damage calculation yet. Pretty good start going for blue team. Uh, 900 gold lead, mainly just from the kills so far. Twisted Fade coming in from behind. Zerus sees it coming. Not gonna do anything. Stunts him up. Throws down some pokes. Takes him down to half health. Pretty good trade overall. Irelia is throwing down this pink ward. Want so that she can play a bit more aggressive. Not wanting Rams to come around from behind. Ramis. Looking for the gank on Twisted Fate. His flash should be up. Coming in. Twisted Fate actually goes past the gold card, unfortunately. Remus takes that kill. Probably should have given it to Zerus, but it's whatever, I guess. This pink ward. Will Remus walk through this bush? Maybe. We shall see. Kha'Zix. Looks like he will be taking this blue buff off for himself. Or, no. Oh yeah, he did get that blue buff from killing Remus. Killing, yeah, killing Remus. So, that kill even it up a bit. Only a 150 gold deficit for Westview. Lulu, her ult was forced out. Looks like she might be trying to bait something. She is pretty low, has to be careful. Bomb split from Bane, but they're not going to punish that really. Rock bye bye, just getting denied from backing. Kagma. I'm over halfway there to level six. This this is a pretty common pink ward, so I mean as a jungler, you should always be checking this bush for a pink ward, otherwise. Um they can see your mid laner roaming down to help. Looks like blue is gonna be handed off to Twisted Fate. Always want that blue given over to Twisted Fate before his game. Looks like he is my Wanting to roam down. He does get spotted out by Pink Ward. So Zerus gonna throw down some poke. He should know that. Uh, unless he wasn't looking. But, I mean. Yeah. Pink's coming out. They do know that Pink Ward's there. However. It is too dangerous for him to go clear that out right now. Kha'Zix. 
Just chilling. Lulu, pretty low on health. Might get dove in. Yeah, looks like she's united. Yeah, probably should not have played so far up. Pocket Boy getting clear that pink ward. Doing pretty well. Braum, throw down some Pokemon to Janna. Pokemon not gonna be able to collapse. Remis grabbing a pink ward, Xerix with the chalice. Uh, looks like I'm going to go and try to talk about again. However, he is too close to the threat to really get kill him, but they do manage to get a good amount of damage. Kogma as a phage, building up to that Triforce. Only has D Blade, so only has, what, 3% life steal, not that much. Using that Janice shield to his advantage, getting that extra AD as well as the shield to prevent some damage. Bot lane is 6. Level 6 all. So that is going to help Kogma a lot being able to poke. Vayne only going to be able to do all in Kogma at this point. Not going to be able to outtrade him that well with that ult. Kogma is from here pretty well. It's only a 9k gold lead. A 9 million gold lead. Rock bye bye. Going to clear out that pink ward finally. Hopefully, make Aurelia not feel as safe. Powerballing in, Ramis. Not gonna get anything done, just gonna make it force him to back off. Aurelia going aggressive, getting some good damage. Ulting gets polymorphed, however, this is not looking well for Rock Bye Bye. He ults, tries to get it away. Kent flashes in, rock, forcing Rock Bye Bye to flash out, and Rock Bye Bye definitely losing out on these trades. Not gonna be able to do that, do that one lane anymore. Uh, looks like Hope Team wanting to go for this dragon. Ramis, however, is down bot. Throws down the wards. Kogma and Jenna are coming nearby. This is pretty dangerous. Ramis hardballing in. We lose teleport. We lose. Both is down. However, uh, Brom also disengage. Now with five bots, they should be able to spray this dragon for themselves. Kha'Zix not the best at healing. And yeah. Looks like a dragon is going to go over for the teleport. Miss might, but doesn't really matter. There was no war, so they won't have the automatic timer. However, being a uh, 5, they should be able to keep track of timers by themselves. Huge mini wave coming in. Going to get some good damage on that turret. Uh, Kha'Zix at Wolf, so he might look to come down bot soon. Throwing down some poke, but from being pretty tanky at this point. Well, he's always just naturally tanky. Kisufe came up top, however Lulu was not there, knocking anything from that. Turret does go down though. Zareth putting good damage onto mid turret. Kha'Zix looks like he wants a gank bot. If they can land a Q and force a stun up on Kogma or Jenna, Kha'Zix could be ulti leap in. Throws down the Q. But they can see from after playing really safe, this bot lane playing uh, so far up suddenly going to be tipping organism pocket boy that something is off. Kha'Zix looks like they want to waste any more time just back. Zerith mm. so able to take down that mid turret. Ire Irelia and Kha'Zix carving down mid but it's going to be spotted out by a ward. Ping down so they know it's there however she is going to be clearing out pink ward in river. 1 to 3. Uh, looks like Twitter coming down for the old. Exhaust goes down. Good Jenna. Oh, disengage. They're going to be turning on to Twisted Fate. Kogma, it looks like he was a good, very good heal. Twisted Fate also flashes away. Ka Organism flashing away too. Looks like he is going to be throwing down his soul. Brown forced to flash as well. Nothing in contact. Kogma leaps again. Able to get the kill. Bit of an overstay there. Scary blows. Everybody's huge play down bot. Kent crashing in as a Relia. Jenna is out of mana, not really too much more. Um, Zerus still does have ult, so he is able to get, find a safe position, land a solid ult on top of Twisted Fate. However, he does, he does not feel safe right here. Uh, no vision inside that brush, does not know that Twisted Fate is there. Stun goes out, barely misses. Will he be going for the ult? Throughout that, Kogma does go down, but they are able to get top turret down. Um, that pretty even for both teams, I'd say. I mean, that is going to be more global gold for 
blue team, so I would say that probably can then be in their benefit as blue team really wants to be pushing out these turrets so that they can... Uh, a lot of their competition focuses on their AD carries power spikes so that they can push down turrets, start grouping as five, and then force these really good coordinated team fights. hopefully. Um, obviously the same goes for blue team wanting to decrease that vision though. Rom coming in, throwing out the Q. Pink Warrior and Tribush trying to secure that up. Just poke you out. Hard Ball managed to dodge that Q pretty well. Just trading back some damage. Kha'Zix backing, blue buff going over to Twisted Fate. His ult is not up for a bit longer, but he's looking down, roaming, looking to roam down bot. Uh, Ram is near top, jungle so he's not going to be able to help out. Going aggressive, it, but looks like they were able to disengage pretty well. This is Fade ghosting in. Gold card locked in, but unable to catch up. Pretty good Janet Tornado going down there. 1 and 4, however, blue team is able from turrets and CS. Looks like blue team is does have the advantage there. This is Fade coming up top. Remis playing on that ward. Cross skirmish going down. Kha'Zix ulting and leaping in. They're really coming to back up. Just, just throwing that back poke. Organism, Pocky Boy. Doing pretty well in the bot lane. Trading that level 6. But however, they see that Twisted Fate and Irelia are headed down towards button. But looks like they turn, turn around. Don't think anything can come out from bot. Blue team's Pokemon pad backed off. Irelia, Twisted Fate going pretty aggressive. Not gonna catch out there still. Cogmar going aggressive. Looks like getting a good amount of damage. Ult coming out. Jan is disengaged. Tornado. Rem is coming in. Ho hopefully, good, really good taunt. Rem's getting trained to the second kill for the team and himself. However, Cogmar looking. To get this kill, they will be gifting it over to Kogma. Really want to be getting and going. That's what they want to be doing. I mean, it's not always nice to be getting more kills, but Kogma really is the one on this team that you want to be getting the kills. Lulu shooting at that gold card. Nothing coming out. Bot turret looks like it will be going down. It's gonna be pretty good. Not one wasting time. Just clearing out this human wave and backing off. Hopefully. Twisted Fate Irelia backing off. Pretty everyone to get into buy. 15 seconds before Dragon, so bit of Lulu does have her teleport up, so we'll be able to come in here for Red a purple team is trying to secure Dragon uh vision control. Only one sweeper on both teams, so that is a bit odd. So at this point, you usually want to be getting more sweepers around. They're yes, aggroing the dragon, however, blue team really out the The teleport is coming in, scrying orb, able to swing the entire team, reload. This is gonna be a smite battle, trying to get it. Looks like purple team is able to secure it. Blue team kites, they're just getting older, however, he goes down almost immediately. Possible at Kazma. In the background, however, it looks like the entire team is dying. Remus is dead, Zerus is dead, uh, Twisted Fate is also dead. However, Lulu goes down, also, just Jen and Kogma going extremely well for Purple Team there. Getting Dragon as well as a 3 for 1. Pocket Boy completely split, gonna be looking for the suicide. Slashing does not get the damage down. There's the damage. And Twist Fate, gonna pick up an easy kill. Flash props a bit unnecessary. Uh, Kogma, a bit out of position. Kogma is gonna jump on her. However, Kogma trading out the damage for her. Fate, oh, Twisted Fate all comes out, Flash stuns him. Oh, oh, will they be... Yeah. 
Cosmo trying to chase up, try to get that toxic damage, but not can get that down. Pretty easy pick up. Cosmo definitely caught up position. Could have gone better if he was a bit safer. Lulu trading out with Twist Fate, rather turn down block, make sure nothing happens. It is, however, despite being 49, still only a 1.3k gold lead for Purple Team. 3 to 1 in turrets, definitely helping them keep closing that goal, uh, kill deficit. Zed farming pretty well, 40 gold up on Twist Fate. Kogma pretty even with, with Vayne. Lulu. Lulu 15 CS above Irelia, however Irelia definitely has been ha having more of an impact on the map through creating, creating at the top or roaming Everybody just chilling uh, Lots of defensive wards set up by blue team Some offensive wards to secure their flank uh, But everybody definitely needs to be contributing to this ward game Blue buff getting pinged out Probably will be giving that over to Jared. Uh, blue buff going over to Twisted Fate. His ult is over halfway off cooldown. 20 minutes, 1.3k gold lead still for Poker Team. 3 to 1 in towers, 49 in kills. Kogma has hit that hit Triforce. Power spike. Vayne on the hand with her Borg with that static shift. Being 1 1 4 is helping a lot. Kogma power position. You cannot 1v1 the Vayne like that. That is not going to go well. Organism definitely questionable positioning. And Matthew Vayne should not have been walking through there. That potentially. That might cost them mid to right. However, Zerith does have pretty good weight, but I should be able to defend that pretty well. Poking down the enemy team, just chilling. Twist of Fate, splitting down bot. Is gonna get his ult almost up. But he is gonna get a lot of damage down. Probably is gonna get him down. He's probably breaking down. Bomb ult. Uh, Remus gets new ult hit. Looks like Remus is gonna go down. Zareth ult comes out. Takes, oh my god, takes Vayne down to a sliver of health. However, she is so far back, unable to follow up. Really unfortunate right there. If Kogma was there, that would have been a completely different story. However, looks like they are pushing down bot, looking to take down another turret. Kogma there, trying to clear out the wave. And however, the turret is going to go down. Really good rotation there, taking down two turrets down bot. That being cut out by organi organi organism being cut out really cost them. However, uh, Purple Team is caught up in turrets, pulling ahead to a 4k gold lead. And, looks like we are going to be having a pause going out. What? Okay. Do I, do I not get to see chat? Lag? Oh, it looks like Kogma is lagging, so it might be his... I mean, lag definitely does throw you off your game. Uh, being pretty an getting annoyed with that lag, always going to be frustrating to play with. Not going to be let you, f not going to let you focus 100% on the game. Do do do. So, see, LCS cast like you gotta be. Uh, LCS casters never have to deal with this, where it's like, oh, well, I guess they do, huh? Damn tech, but game is gonna be spawning. Shout out to the tech guys. Hey, except we have no tech guys. Sad face. We're high school. Well, I guess I'm college. Whatever. Red buff going over to Vayne. She's definitely getting pretty big. 3 0 4. Kha'Zix 3 0 2. Twist Fate 3 2 4. Irelia 1 0 6. That support Irelia doing pretty well. Clearing out some vision. B 
vision is going to be huge in this game. I mean, a pick comp versus a team fight comp, that's going. Well, I guess you could say this is a pro comp too. I mean, yeah, I guess it definitely classifies as a pro comp. If they're looking to pick, cast someone out, however, the whole team is there, not going to get anything from that. But yeah, oh, wow. Yeah, how did I not see that? Yeah, this is definitely also a pro comp. I mean, talking about with his all really good amount of poke, Jenna disengages, essential for a poke too. Lulu, um, again, I miss poke and Zareth. With the Nidalee nurse, slash rework probably, the AP poker. Now, Dragon, 15 seconds. However, yeah, with the Remus and Kog'Maw, if Kog'Maw starts to get going, Blue Team is going to have a really good team fight. But, looks like... Blue team does not want to be contesting. I mean, Rock Live is all the way up top. Does have teleport, I guess, but this dragon is going down really fast with that Kha'Zix and Bane. Jenna trying to steal his nail, not gonna work. Not enough poke to allow them to engage. We're gonna flash the end, old me, responsible by Jenna, trying to disengage. You really got it, right? Remus Cowball's in, however, everybody's low. Do really good tornado, zero filled, Bane flashes away. Bomb extremely low. TF going to be ulting into the back line. Turret dive, that is not going to go well for Twisted Fate. That is really one side Twisted Fate. However, huge amount of damage. Still diving, still going hard. And looks like in the end that was a 1 for 2. Twisted Fate going a bit too deep there. But they are able to secure a kill on Kogma. And that dragon definitely worth a, def a really good fight for Purple Team. 5k gold lead now. Even in towers, um, Pope Team has a lot of vision. Able to going to be able to see. Ah, oh, why is it not working? Zareth trying to pick out Aurelia. A lot of damage going down. However, Aurelia just running around, trying to stall. Lulu looking to be securing this, going to secure this kill. Really, just trying to waste their time. Ram is coming in. Power boss gives that kill. To Lulu. They really uh, definitely have to get up. Perhaps did not expect Zareth and Lulu to be over yonder. Pretty good vision in the in blue team's blue jungle. Gonna allow them to see as I was saying, gonna allow them to see movements through the map. Take, hopefully pick people off. Mitrid going down. Graham is trying to catch out Twisted Fate, however, nobody is there to follow up, and Braum is there to reinforce. Working on Triforce Fork. Fork, a bit of a questionable choice on Kogma. Well, I guess it was trying to peel Irelia, Kha'Zix, and Bane off of him. Looks like Baron will be the next point of focus. 6 and 13. All of Blue Team's getting huge. Yeah, all this ward coverage is going to uh, Baron trying to make sure nothing a Baron doesn't get stolen. It looks like another pot is going to get Kogma. Oh, organism like him. I thought he just got a new computer too. SMH clearly doesn't have the go to college internet. Yeah, yeah. Berkeley internet pretty good. Streaming no lag. Hey, look at 15 viewers, new high score. Do to do. Good to see ev everything is staying pretty friendly. Just small talking. Uh, let's see. Bills, Triforce Borg. That dagger, Zerg Creep is going to be coming out soon for Kogma. Um, Jenna, looks like she's going to be building a. Uh, Ages of the Legion, off that Negatron Cloak and Kindle Gem. Mm. No balls, no balls. Uh, I forget who, is, who it was, but it was like, uh... Damn, it was like, was it Scar... Uh, it was like Dan Din's like cousin or somebody was like... Yeah, and there's like one server in China, like everybody always... Like if you build an AP champion, you always build Magi, so yeah. 
All about that Magi Janna. Pretty good stuff. Uh, Sunfire, Ancient Golem. No big boots on Ram. Okay, Lulu getting caught out here. Uh, Golden Slap, however, that just forces Kogma to be caught with this again. Couldn't be 1v1. Pick, picked up out by Aurelia. Holding collapsing on this though. Pretty good damage. Aurelia going down. Red gets interrupted out of his own. Jenna is going down. Ludo has to ult herself. Uh, however, Kha'Zix is going to be able to take him down. Get that 4 for 1. Not going well. Um, purple team looks like they are pinging Baron. Is there... He's going to try to poke out this team. See what he can do. However, oh, that's not going to go well. I mean, it's one Q from Bombland. He's definitely going down, but... In a situation like this, when 7-17 is down so much, you have to try. He has pretty low, backing out just no one get picked off. Really good poke out, but... Nothing can come from that. I mean, Grand Debuff obviously helping a lot, however... There is just... Did not have the damage. Probably has had his ult, but his ult was used, only getting one shot before it was very well knocked out of by this this Brom here. Brom going to be building Randuins. Hexdrinker and Kha'Zix, pretty good choice with Kogma, Lulu, and Zared. Lich Bane going to be letting TF gain a lot of more burst damage. That Rav, that Mutacy Large Raj, I assume, is going to be built into a Ravnon's death cap. Uh, three sweepers coming out. TF could probably do to get a sweeper as well. However, Kogma and Remis. Kogma and Remis really need to be getting a sweeper. Putting out some vision, otherwise they're just going to keep on getting picked off. Xerath, Rabdons and Chalice and Sork Boots. Uh, half item behind. We will get that Morella Namakan. Vision was OP. Going Gresh on there on the loom, not getting him that, just hitting back and forth. It's snowballed into an AK goal lead, however. If Blue Team drag this out a bit more, they just need to play safe, not get caught out. I mean, they really need better vision coverage. So it's not just the job of the support to um, be buying, uh, to be awarding up the jump. Everybody needs to buy awards. Three viewers and one people, it's not enough to be able to secure jungle, especially against a pick up like this. You definitely need everybody to be buying wards, especially if you wards, also really cost efficient if you place them in the right place. I mean, being able to clear out the ward, looks like TF can be taking down a lot of damage on Lulu, forcing her to potentially go back. Kogma chasing onto this Aurelia. Then a flash power balling, talking that TF, taking him out of the fight for a bit. Lulu, PG Fire is going to be going down on Kogma. Lots of damage, going back first, getting taking a good amount of damage. Yeah, holding onto that, uh, that gold card. Oh, uh, and Bane is able to avoid all of Kog uh, all of Zeth's ult. After all that, it is Kogma going down. However, TF also going to go down in response. But during all this, Bane and Relic were able to take down mid turret, which is not obviously not good for. Wanting to stall this out. Jenna, oh god. Oh god. That's not good for Jenna. Oh god. However, Eraya, Sandia, Eraya will be getting seeing up her life for this. Yeah, this is the out one around this. And. Zara is able to secure that kill quite well. Vayne with the Infinity Edge, Bork, and Static Ship. Zerk Reef, Negatron's Poke, trying to avoid some of that poke. I mean, a lot of the, all the poke is just uh, 
We're going over to the cave. Locket is finished. However, Twisted Fate definitely is not the problem here. I mean, definitely is danger, but that Locket not gonna be doing a lot of work as Twisted Fate only magic, significant magic damage. Brahms, uh, passive, not gonna be doing a lot of damage. So, questionable choice there. Uh, they definitely need more Randuins. Probably a Frozen Heart. Vein is very dependent on auto attack, attack speed. Brom, not wanting to get cut out, flashed out. 9 to 19, 10k gold lead in Purple Team's favor. Purple Team definitely is getting to the point where they're strong enough where they could be uh, doing turret dives. Clear out vision. You know, LCS kind of stuff. Baron coming up in two minutes. Gotta be aware of that. Ah. In fact, small scum is going down. Jenna is going to get stunned up, and she just gets deleted. They really need to be a lot more aware of their position. Being a post comp, being this far behind against the pick comp, they cannot get caught out like that. They really need to be folks uh, on this position. Looks like uh, they totally need to be rotating, making decent chunk of damage onto the turret. However, there is Kagma and Lulu, pretty good wave player. Hopefully, he should be able to hold this off. Looks like Pro Team just wants to regroup. I don't think they fought in a while, so. Oh yeah. Yeah, Twist Fate sitting on 1300 gold, Bane 1400. Uh, yeah, not 1400 anymore. Definitely looking to buy, getting their main Bane carry some more item. Which will be. Yeah. Curious. I mean, obviously, you're gonna be wanting that last whisper however there isn't a lot of armor stack i mean of course remnants is all gonna be taking but nobody else has really built any armor items i guess you can argue a secret arm guard counts as armor 30 armor but you're not gonna need that last whisper usually so i feel like at this point being so fast you probably should have just built that guardian angel she really wants to be staying alive in these fights as she is a huge amount of damage output for her team. But Vision was going on over Baron. It's coming up right now. So everyone be securing that. Pretty bad angle right here. I mean a Brommel is gonna be able to hit all of them. Clearing out the vision. Um and double pick words just in case you have a a, uh, I don't even know what you would need that for. Oh god. Uh, Lulu just getting caught in position. Ult itself, she had an ult, this is getting a bit, however, she has basically ult in the middle of the team. Just blue, uh, blue card them, however, at this point, there's a point where, like, what you want to do is, all, all you want to do is, you just want to be spamming W. Like, sometimes you, just, that's, you don't really care about what, um, card it is. However, 30 second death timers, that should be team. I mean, you have a really tight vein. They can just push straight down mid. And looks like blue team, not even giving them a chance, are going to be surrendering. 